Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. XFL Championship Game Odd Selection How to see Renegades vs Defenders which team comes out on top The XFL accomplished what its new owner set out to do, bring a successful season to a close. That didn't t happen in 2020, when the XFL was cancelled after week 5 due to COVID-19. And it didn't t return until this week year back. The 2023 XFL season ends this Saturday, when the Arlington Renegades take on the DC Defenders in the XFL Championship game. Not many saw the Renegades take the championship, going into the playoffs with a 4-6 record, but rallied and won the playoff semifinals, with a 26-11 surprise win over Wade Phillips and the Houston Roughnecks, who finished first in the South Division. In the regular season. Renegades quarterback Luis Perez was impressive, as he finished 19th of 27 passes, for 289 yards and 3 touchdowns, two of which went to Javonta Payton, who caught 5 passes for 121. The defenders have been one of the most dominant teams in the league since Week 1, since Reggie Barlow, XFL Coach of the Year, DC, led to a 9-1 record and the North Division title. TV, up these two teams faced each other less than a month ago, with the defenders walking away with a 28-26 victory. It was a thrilling contest that necessitated overtime, as the Renegades scored 17 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Paris threw for 335 yards, one touchdown and one interception, while Devian Smith threw for 43 yards and two touchdowns. It was surprising that Arlington lost a total of 434 yards of offensive play to DC defenders. At defense Abram Smith, the XFLS leading rusher, rushed for just 27 yards on 10 carries, while Ta Amu threw for 188 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. When defenders can T-run the ball to Arlington, that is a bit of a concern. DC had the number one rushing offense in the XFL, with 1,408 total rushing yards and 15 rushing touchdowns during the regular season. No other team even reached 970 rushing yards. Six points is a relatively large number for a league game, and one has to wonder if Saturday's hypothetical playthrough could resemble what?